good evening. I'm going to take a short look at the new events in May. And I'm also going to do a brief character overview, uh, looking at my progress the last few months. Uh, but we can begin with the events. There's a new set of items. Uh, and just like the past few events, uh, there is uh, one uh, item that you can open, as well as uh, exchange. Uh, this time it's called an ultimate dragon chest. And then there's a minor item, this time it's called Dra dark dragon scale, uh, which you can exchange for some basic stuff, uh, gold and so on. And then there are a few exchanges uh, where you need both uh, these dragon scales and this chest. Uh, this time it's for Empire Truncheons, uh, for the top tier medal, and then Advanced Mara and Advanced Sepulchrum. Uh, not too useful for most players. Uh, this uh, Dark Dragon Scale is also the item you get as a reward for most of the event quests. Now the regular chest can be exchanged for some uh, U-Demon uh, resources uh, in blood and in green flame and, uh, and so on. Uh, so nothing too interesting. Uh, and then you can exchange 300 of them for a plus 60 mount which is nice, but you're not going to get 300 for free, definitely. You're going to have to buy quite a few ch chests if you want this. So for those of you who, who don't feel like buying 300 chests, uh, I would say that if you don't need any of these in particular, uh, perhaps you need green planes uh, to upgrade an item, so in that case you could get those. I wouldn't get the Blood of Zeus because they are so easy to get from your farm. Uh, some gems I guess could be nice. I wouldn't get these uh, either because you can get this from the dimensions. Uh, so basically unless you need any particular item I would recommend probably just to open them because you can get the mount as a rare drop so uh, open them and hope to get lucky or you'll still get some of the items you can exchange for uh, if you open them so that's probably what I'm going to do uh, uh, we also have some regular events uh, an astral event and just like the past few of these uh, the rewards aren't too exciting but you get these uh, energons for free uh, I think you get 8 total if you capture 500 a day so that's 4000 free astral experience so just get your do your 500 every day uh, some minor rewards for doing sky trail there's also a, a silk divinity soul event and uh, this have been upgraded uh, so that you get uh, when you synthesize a level 3 you get an additional level 3 divinity soul uh, you used to get uh, level 2 uh, so one level below the one you synthesized but I think all basically all synthesis events have been upgraded so you get one extra of the, uh, the type you do uh, gems work like this, and also the resistance crystals work like this now. Uh, anyway, you get some event chests here, so not too many, but still a decent bonus. But the main reason for doing it is to get an extra divinity souls for your sylphs. You can get some minor rewards for spinning the blessing wheel. I'm not sure if this actually works 
you need to spin it three times. Uh, I usually do the one click spin uh, these days, and pay 15k kainites and get 200 right away. Uh, I don't know if that works with this event, so I've been just doing three manual clicks to get the rewards, but perhaps that's unnecessary. There's a mount card exchange uh, for mount or beast shards. I don't think there is an exchange for these shards, so I'm not sure. Probably there will be uh, eventually. And a couple of spender events, nothing too interesting. Uh, you can get some free event chests by just logging in. If you're a VIP player, you will get three a day. Uh, finally, there's uh, a gem event running right now. This time it's divided into three parts. Uh, the first part, this is a new type. Uh, you will get rewarded for just having a certain amount of gem for each level. Uh, you need to have 10 gem of a certain level. And you will be able to claim a reward. Uh, this means that you'll probably just, unless you have a huge pile of gems, you will probably be able to redeem a couple of these levels. Uh, I got the top two ones because I apparently had 10 level 10 gems and 10 level 11 gems. So uh, the rewards are just these dragon scales, so nothing to go crazy about. Uh, there are also gem synthesis events, and well, first of all, uh, a level 11 gems are now included. Uh, they were the last event as well, I think, uh, which is good. Uh, and as you know, since the 4.0 patch, you can run uh, Tormented Necropolis for free, which I've done every day since. And I've been lucky enough to get uh, two different level 11 uh, gem transposers, so I can take part in this. Uh, top tier uh, gem synthesis now, which is great. And for level 11 it's a bit special because you only need uh, you synthesize two level 10 gems to get one level 11, uh, and then you get one for free. So once you have one, a level 11 gem transposer, you can basically uh, convert all your level 10s to level 11 gems. Uh, you all, all you need to do is probably and convert the gems. Uh, so that's great. Uh, and this part uh, is unlimited. Uh, but you only get one extra gem. Then there's the second part uh, where you get some additional item. And this is a limited event. Uh, it says that every reward can re only be redeemed once during the event. Uh, this is probably a typo. I'm guessing it will be redeemable every once a day during the event, and I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, this has been the case uh, once before, I think, where it said once during the event, but it's actually once a day. Anyway, you can get some event chests um, and uh, some gem packs and soul seeds. So. If you combine these two, it's basically a regular event, but you can still, let's say you're one gem short to, to be able to do one of these, you can actually, you won't lose as much by just doing one extra uh, synthesis for a level 7 gem or whichever you need. So that's nice. I guess those are the events. And you can this just for five more days. Uh, I assume this will be replaced next week with a new event uh, or a new chest. Probably with one of these dual chests uh, where you buy a chest that contains either this item or the next one, which is a bit crappy if you actually need the next one will be harder to get it. Seems to be lagging here, I'm not sure why. Uh, <laughs> there's also basically some kind of compensation most days. Uh, 
it's a sign of how smoothly things are working, I guess. Uh, so, not too exciting events, but uh, it's nice that we actually get a few event items from the different events, anyway. I've gotten 21 of these for free since the event started, so that's decent. Okay, then let's take a look at the, my character progress. And I guess I should start with the U Demons because that's the main the new thing from the last, my last progress update. Uh, I got uh, the Battle Oracle as my first uh, U-Demon. Uh, I was a bit hesitant about uh, this choice uh, and I waited a bit uh, with leveling, but once I realized how quickly you get this uh, Blood of Zeus from your farm, I decided it's not that big a deal to if I decide to change uh, my mind later. Uh, so my U-Demon is level 7 and I'm more than halfway to level 8 and this is just from the farm so it's quite quick and I also started to upgrade uh, the equipment which uh, gives some additional battle rating uh, I've also done a few upgrades here on the War Emblem page. Uh, you could get these from the last week's event, uh, exchanging the chests, so I got a whole bunch and got myself to level 4. Uh, I got this uh, Mage gu Guardian because I wanted some extra healing power uh, to help me soloing, and it's actually quite useful uh, when it's at level 1, it's quite fragile so it won't stay alive, but now uh, it can live through at least some damage, so I can get a couple of heals from it. Uh, I still need to get the, the Santoria skill for to get some additional healing, but I use this Delphic, the Delphic heal, uh, quite a lot, and you can control that yourself, uh, which is good, and it's also some extra damage, so pretty helpful. Uh, I've also gotten started with the dimensions again, and I basically have a full set of dimensions running at all times. Uh, I can finish the basic ones in one day now, so once one expire, I can just complete another one. Uh, this is where you get the, the shards uh, for your if you want to get more U demons. Uh, I've had four dimensions completed every day since the patch, I think, more or less. Uh, and uh, today I got my first mark, you get... Or maybe I have gotten two actually, anyway, still not enough to get my second U Demon, so that's quite slow. Uh, which is a bit of a shame, because when you open the skill chests, you're going to fill your inventory with skills for the other kinds of U demons, which is a bit annoying. But uh, I've been the dimensions now give quite a lot of uh, bound balance. I'm not sure how many, but uh, several hundreds a day. So I've been able to upgrade. I've gotten these six rows, 
since the patch, uh, just from Dimension Rewards. And I'm going to be able to get the final two in a week or so. Uh, once that is done, I can buy uh, these uh, skill boxes just for my Battle Oracle. So I'll be able to uh, get the skills I want without filling up my inventory. So that's, I think that's an okay place to spend your your bound balance. Um, I'm up to level 26 here in the group, which means I get five chances at the transposers. So that's great. And I'm at level 12 here in the Burgess Remains. Which gives me a few legendary stones per day. Uh, we had recently an, a resistance crystal event, uh, and using this I was able to upgrade my crystals to, I now have uh, a complete set of level 8 gems, or crystals, uh, and this means that I, I am resistance kept, even when using my Hades silt. So I have 90% damage reduction, uh, and I can do basically any element uh, dimension uh, without switching cells, so that's good. And with this uh, damage reduction I can now solo the multiplayer dungeons again, uh, which is great because I need quite a lot of legendary stones, I still only have one piece of level 80 equipment, uh, but I can do the Lich Lair on Life Burn Hour pretty easily, and I can do, I can't finish uh, Nirvana on Life Burn Hour, but I can do the first two bosses, uh, and they are the ones who drop the, the legendary stones. Uh, I'm focusing on the level 71 now, for now though, because you can get uh, some free of these shards and you can potentially get the actual level 70 items for free, which would save a few crypt tokens. And I'm in no real hurry to upgrade the items anyway. The inventory is quite packed these days, so it's good that I've been able to get a bunch of extra space. Uh, these are the the materials for this two new artifact on Halidon. Um, I definitely can't solo the new elemental forest uh, dungeon, and there are not that many runs on this server I'm on, so I just ignored this for that dungeon for now, uh, since it's going to take quite a lot of runs to to be able to get those, so I just accepted that I won't have any of these for a while. get quite a lot of Mara and Sepulchrum every day just from the sky trail and uh, dimensions and so on so and from farm uh, mainly so I'm waiting for another next silk event so I can upgrade my I should have enough to upgrade this to four stars my head is I also get a mon my second level 80 just by doing well, mainly the, these dungeons here, the catacomb dungeons. Uh, I still haven't decided where to put these additional skill points. 
I have both skill sets. I've tried these new skills, but I can't really seem to fit them in my rotation, so for now I'm just using the basic ones. Which is quite enough. Uh, you can now actually buy 50 of these skill chests per day in your guild, uh, which will cost you 25 million golds per day, which is quite a lot, uh, especially for me, since I haven't even enchanted my first level 80 equipment piece fully, so I still need to spend a lot of gold uh, on other stuff, so I'm not going to buy any skill chests for now. Uh, but I have I have upgraded uh, all my self equipment to level 10 now that uh, this costs no gold and I'm trying to gather enough of these blessings of God to make my first epic piece of self equipment So what else? You get some, a few of these for free, and uh, these are the reagents for refining uh, yourself the second time. And you need 500 of each uh, for the Hades, so I, that's quite far away still. I don't expect to be able to do that anytime soon, which is okay. Um, so let's see. Uh, I'm still, I'm still stuck on the same sky trade level uh, since the last several months. Uh, it's this uh, tenth level of the sky trade level two. Uh, I'm going to need to convert all my resistance crystals to light, which will cost a few million, so I just haven't bothered. I probably should, but I don't need the materials here anymore. Um, I have enough star sand and star tear shards to refine my f uh, this Apollo, which is my final unrefined self. Uh, however, I only have 10 Divinity sh the Shards, or whatever they're called. So, I'm not going to be able to and refine it anytime soon anyway. And I don't feel like spending anything, uh, any valence or anything on that, because I don't use it. So, could be fun to advance a bit here though, so I'll probably... do that conversion and uh, finish this stage eventually. Probably when I start working on my... I have quite a few light... light dimensions, including one advanced. So... I'll do that soon-ish. I think I'm going to give one of these advanced dimensions a go pretty soon. Uh, I finished the intermediate one with quite easily, so... Could be fun, and the rewards should be quite a lot better, so uh, I'll give that a try in the near future, and probably will get stolen right away, so... Anyway, that's the current status of my character. I'm looking forward to getting more powerful still, and there's quite a lot of things I haven't done yet, so... A lot to look forward to. So, until next time.